Hi everyone, in this video we'll uh, talk about how we can make a beer called spread calculator in Excel sheet and uh, for this calculator first we have to define uh, two call options and uh, I'll say that the strike price for the first call option uh, is uh, 400 and the strike price for the second call option is uh, uh, maybe 200 and uh, let's say that the premium I have to pay for the first call option is equal to $50 and uh, premium I have to pay for the second call option is equal to $100 and this is just a scenario uh, it doesn't uh, maybe I should call this as uh, uh, $200 and this one as uh, 300 now what we do in the beer call spread in the beer call spread we have to sell a call option with the lower strike price so we are selling this and uh, we are buying the call option for the higher uh, strike price so if we sell this and we buy this so our payout we have to so this is what we paid and this is what we earned so our net profit is equal to 200 minus 50 so this is what we are aiming for but we can have uh, losses also if the stock goes down and how that will look like uh, with a different stock price uh, this is what we will be calculating here so now let's define the stock price and the stock price uh, let's say it starts with zero and then we are uh, increasing it with the uh, 10 so I'm just referring to the above cell and I'm saying plus 10 and uh, then we can go down and this is uh, all the different stock prices now we have to calculate the profit from stock or from the call one so I'll say profit from call one so that will be equal to now the profit will depend upon the stock price right so I have to say if the stock price is greater than strike price if it's greater than strike price uh, then what will happen we will make money so that money will be equal to stock price minus the strike price and uh, because we paid money to buy this call option we also have to subtract the premium from this one and if we lose if, if the stock price is lower than uh, the strike price then we are not making money we just losing the money which we paid for that call option so I have to say minus and uh, then I have to say uh, 1 minus 1 into 50 so that will how it will look like so now you can see that uh, if the price is zero uh, we are not making any money from the uh, call one uh, but we are actually losing fifty dollars which we paid to buy that call one now if I drag it down you can see that uh, my references to the cells are changing and I don't want this reference to change for K1 and P1 I do want the reference to change for stock price so I'll go to the first cell and uh, I'll put a dollar sign in front of these so that the reference uh, will not change so this is F4 and uh, I want I don't want the reference for B9 to change so now you can see if I drag it down uh, the references are still same for K1 and P1 but it did change for the stock price but my profit are still the same it's still minus 50 and then I drag it down and now you can see that uh, eventually uh, when I'm reaching the strike price of uh, 400 then uh, I have still the loss of minus 50 uh, loss of 50 but then as the stock price is going up eventually I reach a break-even point of 450 uh, which is equivalent to the strike price plus the premium I paid for that call option 
and eventually I start to make money from the call option. Now this is the profit from call one. Now let's calculate the profit from call two. So all I have to do to calculate the profit from call two is I'll just copy this formula because this is still a call option. So I'll just copy this formula and I will paste it here. And uh, when I copy this formula, you can see all the references are same. And but I want to calculate for call two. So all I'll do is I'll just drag it down the references. So now as you can see that when I drag down the references, it automatically changes the formula. And now I'm looking at the strike for K2 for the call two and also the premium for K2. Now what I need to do is because we are selling this one, I have to multiply the whole thing with minus one. And this is how the profit will look like. So now you can see that if the stock price is zero, we are actually making a profit of $200 because that's a premium we earned when we sold this one. So now you can see if I drag it down, eventually, now if you look again, now this is our break even point. The break even point is 500. Um, so why do we have a break even point of 500? So like, now you can look here the K2 is 300 and the premium is 200. So 200 plus 300 is 500. So we have a break even point at 500. If we go above 500, then we start to lose money from this. And if we go below 500, we start to make money and eventually we make the full money when it reaches the strike price. When it's at the strike price, we make the best uh, profit from this uh, option and that is uh, $200. Now all I have to uh, do now is I need to calculate the total profit. So before uh, calculating the total profit, let's first do the plots and uh, I'll do the plot for the call one first and uh, this plot will look something like that. Now this does make sense. You can see that uh, yeah, now just to uh, make it more visible. Now let me say it's uh, 200. So now you can see that I'm initially losing $200. But eventually when the uh, stock increases in value, I start to make money. right? And, uh, and then it keeps going up. So this chart looks okay. Uh, I'll move it back to 40. Now, if I want to plot the profit from selling the call to, I'll just copy this chart and uh, I'll click on the graph and then I will drag this down to the other one. So now this is what the profit from selling call to. So I should say selling so that is easier. And this is the profit from buying call one. So this is how your uh, chart will look like. So this is profit from buying. And this is the profit from selling the call to. And eventually we need one more chart. And that chart should be equal to profit from beer call spread right and that will be equal to I'll just select this chart oh I didn't I didn't calculate yet so I have to do is let me let me drag it down to the plots here and I'll say total. All I have to do is add these two profits together. And then uh, I drag it down to. And uh, then I'll select this chart and I drag this reference to the total. And this is how our beer call spread will look like. 
now this look little funny because uh, i'm using the random values which may not make sense so i'll i lower the premium uh for for this one to be uh 50 maybe and now this looks more practical more not be 50 like maybe i should say 100 or 110 now this is how the the profit from the beer call spread will look like so we make profit in this case if the stock price goes down if the stock price remains up then we actually lose money and that lo lost in money uh, will be equal to the difference in the strike price minus the money we earned so what's the difference in the strike price so difference in the strike price is $100 and uh, then we earned $70 so you can see our total loss is $30 so we lose $30 if the stock goes up however if the stock goes down then our maximum earning is equal to the difference in the premium price we uh, which we have between the two call options 